All right, here we are for pages probably three and four. <clears throat> Getting a little bit better at this, so I think we can handle two pages in one video. So this is going to be page three and four. So here is my base page. And page three is going to be a double belly band with little doors that open up like this. And the belly band on top, we're gonna build a slide in that's gonna keep it shut and uh, so it won't open on us. I have got to get a pedicure or a manicure. My nails are terrible. I think it's because I play with paper and then I work with paper. All right, so for page three, what we need, let's get our school boards. So these are gonna be our belly bands. All right, so we need two pieces of two by 11. And we're gonna score it a half an inch on the top and the bottom of both. There's a half an inch, and a half an inch. I did this on a book that I made for a uh, retiring principal, and without even meaning to, the picture that I put on the slide in had all of this stuff around it and had one kid in the middle. And so whenever you slid it in, his face was right here. It just, it looked so perfect. And he's, he's a good kid. I miss seeing that kid. He just had a nice, calm voice and just was always, okay, Miss KK. They called me KK. <clears throat> he's a good boy. All right, so we have two of part B, and they are four and five eighths by 10. And we are gonna score at a half an inch and five eighths one on the left-hand side and one on the right-hand side. Again, we're going to need a small gusset because on the inside of this, we've got two more pockets, and I just don't want that bulge. I want it to close nicely. So there's my half. There's my five-eighths. <clears throat> there's my half. There's my five eighths. And if you are new to my videos, or if this is the one you're starting with, I will mark mine on the left or the right because I like to have them whenever I put them on my page. If I have my writing oriented correctly, then I can't mess up and put it on incorrectly. It's taken me a while to figure that out. All right, so part C. I hate it when I don't do it. Part C is nine by four. So we are nine by four, and we are going to score at a half an inch on the left, the bottom, and the right, because this is a pocket. So there's the left. the bottom, and the right. And then we have D and E. This is gonna be the thing that slides in the front. So D is seven and three fourths by nine and three fourths. Okay, and E is eight and one fourth by nine and three fourths, and we're gonna score it a half an inch on the left because this is gonna be our little fold out. Not fold out, but pull out. <clears throat> and you know what, with as big as we're making these pages, this would make a gorgeous recipe book in a box. Because then you could shove stuff in there, but for people like my recipe book, um, which is really just a notebook, but I design cute paper, 
but it's all on eight and a half by 11 because I want to make sure I can, I can read it. So it needs to be somewhat larger print and I can do it on the computer. This would be perfect for them. I didn't even think of that before. I may have to make this one again into a recipe book. Oh, now my brain's going to be sitting there. All right, so here's our page three. <clears throat> Here is our score line. And let's start with A and B. All right, so there's B. These are our A. So we're going to go ahead and fold those score lines at the top on A. And I'm not going to put decorative paper on these yet because when we do that and then we put these flaps on top, our stuff is going to get hung up on this every time. And that drives me absolutely bananas. So, whenever it comes time for me to decorate this page, these little doors, I will cut out my paper. So this is now four. Yeah, this is now four inches by 10. So I will cut my paper at, oh, three and three fourths by 10. And I will slide it under because I'm getting ready to put this on here. I will slide it under. And whenever I do that, it's going to cover up this little hump that this tab makes. And then it will just slide right in instead of getting all jammed up on it. Then I get frustrated. <sighs> okay, so we are going to, let's go ahead and fold these score lines. That's the five-eighths one. <clears throat> and that's the only one I'm going to fold right now. So here's my half inch. Here's my five-eighths. Because I am going to center this on this four-inch piece. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go over an inch at the top and the bottom because I want this centered. So we're going to slap our glue down. I feel like I'm forgetting stuff today. I hope I'm not. All right, so there's my two inch. I went in an inch on each side. Follow it up. And there's our belly band on our page. And so here is B. So I'm going to fold on that 5 8 score line again. We'll fold that half inch in just a second. Okay. Slap my glue down. And it's the exact same thing. I'm going to line this up on my grid here. And I am going to place this centered in, which will be an inch from either side. Line it up along the bottom. There we go. Alright, so whenever I decorate this, uh, this is two, so I'll do one and three-fourths by, yeah, one and three-fourths by, what would that, ten and three-fourths. I'll need two of those strips. And what I'll do is say, for example, I was going to use this paper. I would probably put the back side print on the back, and then I would put the front side on the front. 
Yeah, that's how I would do it. But see, when I go to slide this in here, how it gets hung up on that? I don't like that. So that's why I decorate the pages last. All right, so let's go ahead and put these down so that we fold in on the five eighths. Now we're gonna go ahead and fold in our half inch. I wish y'all could see my dog. She looks like a little angel over there on her princess bed by the window. She's got all of her big fluffy blankets and a big fluffy pillow. Her little Minnie Mouse is over there. Ugh, I don't know what we ever did to deserve dogs. All right, so this is the other side, the one that goes on side A, B, yeah. Goes on the right-hand side. This was the 5 eighths. We're gonna fold it that half inch now. Because we are not putting glue between the half inch and the 5 eighths. Because this is our little gusset and it's going to stand up like that. See? Okay. So, glue on our left side. Remember, we have the score line, so we're going to go right next to it, but not on it. So I'm going to put my bottom left point, line it up along the bottom. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay. And smush it down. Okay. Yep. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. And our door should meet right in the middle. Look at that. Alright, let's put our glue down. And we are almost finished with page three. This book is moving right along. So I'm going to turn it sideways so I can do my bottom left thing that I like to do. Just helps me to line things up easier. Okay. And then I'm going to smush. And I noticed we have a little bit of room. This is actually the top here. Let me orient it. We have a little bit of room up here at the top, but that is fine because we have it on both sides. Our bottoms are even. We meet in the middle. Heck of a deal. So let's go ahead and skip part C and let's get out D and E, okay? E is the only one with a score line. So let's go ahead and fold that. And what we are going to do is we are going to put the two of these together and make a little folder. So I'm going to go ahead slap my glue down. I am shaky as all get out. Since it's spring, my asthma has been absolutely terrible. And cigarette smokers, and I'm not picking on you if you are one, they're going to be the death of me. We've started enrollment at my school, and some people come in, and they just, I know they can't help it, but they smell a whole lot like cigarettes, and it sets me off every time. I had to do three different breathing treatments at work this week, 
and I feel bad because I immediately start coughing and then they look at me and I'm not picking on them. I just really want to be able to breathe. <sighs> so, all right, here is our folder. Now there's two different things you can do here. We can always knock off our corners with corner round or corner punch. But sometimes, especially if I'm gonna be using different uh, paper, I will go ahead and cut this in, oh, three-fourths of an inch. So you see that little edge there? And it just adds another level of dimension to it. So I am gonna go ahead and do that real quick. So we're gonna go about three-fourths of an inch. That way you just get a little peek boo at it, but not a bunch. Now, do you have to do this? No. This is just one of those extra little things. So see, now I have this almost like a tab. So when we go to close our book, this, once we have paper in there so it doesn't get hung up, is going to slide right in there. And now our page won't open, right? And then you can take it out. And there we have our opening. So here is our pocket. Let's go ahead and knock off those corners. Remember, we're gonna cut right through that point. And even if you wanted to, you could put little pockets here. Um, I have once before done stacked pockets here. So you could do that. You could just leave it like this. This will hold a four by six picture. Um, so it just depends on how much journaling I want to do. I may add that at the end. But as of right now, I'll probably just put a little tuck spot in there and tuck something cute in. And if you don't know what I mean by tuck spots, I will show you at the end. All right, so for my pocket, I'm folding those score lines in. Okay, opening up my book, and I am gonna center that in right down here. This should fit right between those score lines, those half inch score lines. Put down our glue. Yeah, I'm still thinking about this should be a recipe book. Yeah, I'm mad at myself for not picking out recipe paper. Oh well. All right, bottom left point. Line that right up along the side and down the bottom. You would have plenty of room with this gusset to put um, pockets here if you want to. I think I've convinced myself that I don't want to. Because you could just put a picture there so perfectly. I may put a little frame here. And you can put your, your picture in there. So, there's our pocket. Lots of room here. Close the doors. Katie, bar the door. Oh, see, now I'm thinking of King Kong, and I got problems today. Recipe books and King Kong. All right, so there is our page three. We're going to flip it on over, and page four is going to have flip up and downs. We do not need any magnets for this page, so I haven't forgotten. Sometimes I do. So far, I have not. Give it time. The book is still early days. Okie dokie. So for this, we have essentially four pieces of seven and seven eighths by five and a half. When we are done, 
this is going to hold five by sevens, okay? So, because I do mine funny, I will alternate where I'm putting my half inch, but it will be on one of the long edges. So we're scoring at a half an inch, two of them across the top, and two of them across the bottom. My paper's from Walmart. And so the reason why I did this one, if you can see, you can barely see the perforation. You can see it better over here. I don't want that to show, so that's why that one's getting it there. And then two along the bottom. Now there is a book that we're gonna do in the future where these will actually be large pockets and you can pull out a journaling card um, or a, a slimline folder that you could put more pictures in or journaling on. We're not doing it on here because we don't have the extra room on the side to have because we would need that edge coming out so that you would know what to pull. I did do it on a book that I have on this YouTube channel. Um, I think it's called The Fleming and I used Craft Consortium Midnight Flight. Was not a huge fan of that paper, so I had a really hard time finishing that book. I am going to redo that book with paper that I like. Um, and there's nothing nothing against Craft Consortium, um, but that was the paper. That That's a book for a lady who's getting ready to retire after 50 years in education, and that paper was picked specifically for her. And so, you know, kind of when you're not into it, it's hard to, hard to do, hard to finish. Um, it's just really dark paper for me. It was beautiful paper. It was just kind of dark. I'm more of a bright and airy type of gal. Um, so I am going to redo that one, maybe with the summer paper that I just got. But I am also getting, hopefully next week, um, and I don't know if it's Echo Park or Cartabella. It's probably Cartabella. Their new paper, Here, There, and Everywhere. Oh, it's adorable. So I'm getting it. It was part of their kit club. And that I also need to do a cute book with. All right, so here we have, we have four pieces that have been scored on one end. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two of those. The first one, see here's my, my fold, and I am going to attach it to the bottom. And I am gonna hug the outside, not the spine, um, because I did make this slightly smaller so that you wouldn't have problems opening and closing it. So our page is eight, but this is seven and seven eighths. Clear as mud. All right, so I am going to bottom left point, line it up the side and along the bottom And then I'm going to take one, and with the score line at the top, the fold at the top, I am going to add it to this same piece that we just did. Okay, so we attached it down here. We're going to attach the second piece to the top. And then we are going to do the exact opposite with the other two. So I'm going to top, line it up, smush it down. OK, 
Okay. We will be putting magnets here and here and here and here. Okay. So now I've got my other two. And so here with the, the fold at the top. Now I am going to turn this sideways so I can line it up better. I'm going to put that top point. I'm going to line it up across the top. And I'm going to move it up just a little bit so it doesn't bump into this one. So it is a little bit taller than my page. Let's see, just a hair. It sticks up just a hair. All right. So now this one with my score line at the bottom, my fold, my flap. Okay, and I'm gonna line that up here. Line it up along the bottom. And smush. Okay, and then they meet in the middle. So let's get our magnets. So first, I'm going to put one down here. <coughs> Sticky side up. Okay. I'm turning my page. Tapping that one down. Sticky side up. Oh my gracious. All right, so there are those, but now we want to keep these from flying open. So we're going to do the exact same thing. So here's my bottom. Close that. And we're going to do the same thing up here on the top. covered up with paper and there we have it's not gonna fly open you can open you can open and on these on these inside flaps I am probably going to use that plain pink cardstock on both of these spots and then this will all put this may be plain color this will be decorative, of course. 
All right, so there we go. Page three and page four. I will see you in the next video.